Welcome, one and all, ladies and gentlemen, and children of all ages. Welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. For yet... It is a good feeling, good, good feeling today, because for yet another day, America was 239 pounds smarter. Because <laughs> President Trump is still in England. Take that, you limey bastards. <laughs> that is for... That is for the War of 1812 and Piers Morgan. <laughs> and I'm happy to say that our British brothers are none too happy. Thousands of protesters took to the streets for what is being called a carnival of resistance against the president. Well, good for you. That sounds fun. <laughs> we have to live with them. <laughs> Here, it's a little less carnival of resistance and more a traveling freak show. <laughs> now... The uh, carnival uh, featured the famous Trump baby blimp. <laughs> now, I know that that might, you know, might seem unfair, but let me remind you, the blimp is anatomically correct. <laughs> Just... <laughs> and it's not just London. Protests against Trump are planned in 14 cities and towns, including uh, Oxford, uh, Chester, uh, Stoke on Trent, Bangers on Mash, <laughs> Mr. Beanington, uh, Stouffer, Salisbury, Mac and Cheese and Shear, <laughs> Sussex upon Buttsex. <laughs> uh, Splash Mountain and, uh, <laughs> Finally, East, South, West, Northington. <laughs> For... <laughs> In the I-can't-believe-it's-not-made-up town of Bishop's Stortford, a teen mowed a giant penis into a field for Trump to see as he landed... <laughs> ..in London. It was the first time in years Trump's been able to look down and see a penis. <laughs> Last night, there was an image projected on the Tower of London showing Trump's approval rating in the UK compared to Obama's. It's 72 to 21 percent. It's nice to know, unfortunately, English votes don't count <laughs> in our elections. Only Russians do. <laughs> this morning, Trump held a joint press conference with British Prime Minister Theresa May, seen here learning she also has to meet Don Jr. <laughs> and when it came to the protests, the president stressed one important point, that there were no protests. As far as the protests, I have to tell you, because I commented on it yesterday, uh, we left the prime minister, the queen, the royal family. There were thousands of people on the streets cheering. And even coming over today, there were thousands of people cheering. And then I heard that there were protests. I said, where are the protests? I don't see any protests. And when there are no protests... <laughs> You know what I call that? Fake booze. <laughs> so, uh, thank you. Trump also, Trump also. <laughs> Trump was also asked about Mexico. You'll recall, uh, or you won't, uh, that last Thursday, out of nowhere, Trump tweeted, on June 10th, the United States will impose a 5% tariff on all goods coming into our country from Mexico until such time as illegal migrants coming through Mexico and into our country. Stop. <laughs> just, you can't just slap a tariff on everything you're mad at. I'm imposing a 25% fee on all pants coming into my closet <laughs> until such time as they agree to fit me. You can do it. You can do it, pants. Zip. Wow. Well, today, wow. today, Trump was asked about those tariffs, and here's what he said. 
Mexico shouldn't allow millions of people to try and enter our country, and they could stop it very quickly. And I think they will. And if they won't, we're going to put tariffs on. And every month, those tariffs go from 5 percent to 10 percent to 15 percent to 20 and then to 25 percent. We're going to jack up everything Mexico. Cinco de Mayo is going to be 10 de Mayo, <laughs> then 15 de Mayo, and you get the idea. But <laughs> Trump has faith in Mexico's government. I think Mexico will step up and do what they should have been done. And I don't want to hear that Mexico is run by the cartels and the drug lords and the coyotes. I don't want to hear about that. A lot of people are saying that. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that. For instance, me just now saying that. <laughs> Who else? The guy I shave in the morning in the mirror, he always says it. Then he calls me bald and paints me orange. Here, here's, here's the thing. Mexico is America's number one trading partner, and the economic consequences of these tariffs could be huge. In fact, if these tariffs become permanent, Chipotle could raise burrito prices by five cents. <laughs> five <laughs> cents! It's, it's an outrage, it's an John. Outrage. It's an outrage. Now we're going to have to start putting cheaper things in our Mexican food. <laughs> Get ready for Taco Bell's Pigeons and Lint Crunch Supreme. <laughs> Not bad. I don't know about sure, that. Sure, enough hot sauce, you won't even know. <laughs> the potential economic damage has made the unthinkable contemplatable because congressional Republicans have begun discussing whether they may have to vote to block President Trump's planned new tariffs on Mexico, which would be the GOP's most dramatic act of defiance since Trump took office. Oh, so this they would block. They're fine with obstruction of justice and kids in cages, but this is too far. <laughs> Just listen to Mitch McConnell speaking to the Senate today. They may take our lives, but they'll never take Trump. Guacamole. <laughs> oh. Yes. Ooh, yeah. Heavy theme. Heavy work. Wow. So Trump was asked about the Republicans' plans to possibly grow a spine. No, I don't think they will do that. I think if they do, it's foolish. Uh, there's nothing more important than borders. I've had tremendous Republican support. I have a 90 percent, 94 percent approval rating as of this morning in the Republican Party. That's an all-time record. Can you believe that? Isn't that something? I love records. I love records. <laughs> Unbelievable. I love records. I love, I love the Guinness Book of World Records. It's <laughs> great to meet Theresa May. I really wanted to meet those world's heaviest motorcycle twins and <laughs> the guy with the really long fingernails, too. <laughs> Trump... <laughs> Trump <laughs> was also slated to meet with several other British politicians while he was over there, and there's one in particular he likes, pro-Brexit MP and man whose hairdresser is a raccoon. <laughs> Boris Johnson. Johnson has been called Britain's Donald Trump. Oh, that's a nice change of pace. A Donald Trump who speaks English. <laughs> Before... <laughs> Before his visit to England, Trump actually backed Boris Johnson to be the next prime minister, but the feeling may not be mutual because Boris Johnson turned down a Trump meeting. Yes, to which Queen Elizabeth responded, No one told me that was an option! <laughs> no! No! I'm told! Hi, John. <laughs> Boris Johnson's not alone. While Trump was at Buckingham Palace, Princess William and Harry also avoided a chance of a photo op. Harry told reporters, no thanks, I learned my lesson about getting photographed with Nazi stuff. <laughs> but... <laughs> not sure what to make of your reaction. I'm not sure. <laughs> there was one high-profile Brit who did meet with Trump today, Brexit party leader and pug who just heard your car in the driveway. <laughs> Nigel Farage. Farage is a far-right member of the EU Parliament who has recently been the target of protesters who splashed him with milkshakes. I think I know why Trump agreed to meet with him. <laughs> Keep talking, Nigel. I'm just gonna suck on your lapels. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight. Dave, Emma Thompson is here.
here. But when we return, 